We're getting straight into it today. The last bit of footage I got from yesterday was Jason putting on some tape for the markings. I got in early at work the next morning, but unfortunately I found they were already finished. So I couldn't get any nice shots of the masking tape being peeled off. But they still look pretty cool. This is the first Panzer Division marking. They had the most Panzer ones in service, so we've decided to go with that one. Now this piece is really special. It might look a little bit out of place to some people, but pieces like this with original markings are really, really rare, and we've decided to keep it. It really adds a lot of personality to the vehicle, and gives you a bit more of a sense of its history. So far we've only driven it around the workshop and outside in the car park a little bit. We haven't taken it out on the track yet. So that's what we're doing here. So Daryl's driving. Go Daryl. big fan of the hills, but that's okay. It'll be good enough for Oz Armor Fest. We can do a little bit more tweaking on it later. So last episode, yesterday, we left off with Daryl making the MG13 barrels. He still has a little bit more work to do on them, so we'll follow him through this process. Gonna pop that in. Confirm it's where we want it. Jess is a professional welder, unlike me. So I've just done a little nick out here. We're just going to get a bit of weld in there just to lock it in place. And then we'll keep going with the rest of it. This one's loose. It's fairly firm. Yep. So that's the bottom. And I want to put those on like that.
We're going to have passengers in the turret during Oz Armor Fest, so Daryl is cutting the back of this barrel down a bit to allow a bit more room. This is the hard bit lining this up. These plugs on the ends will keep the barrels located in the centre of the perforated jacket. My good friend Jess. Then you just yell out when you're ready. Ready. Oh. Ooh, ready. Oh, I broke the world. Oh. I thought you turned it all so it was all perfect and beautiful. I did. I'll just cut that out of my Oh, that's fing hot. No, 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 it's alright. We don't. Nothing else rattling as we drive around. It's not like you're going to hear it. <laughs> We've got about three hours left to work before Armour Fest is. Down to the wire. Down to the wire. Spin them over. This is really quick drying paint. While the paint dries, Daryl works on this last detail, the crowbar holder. I just want to check this little bit. Right. Now, this clip here may not be original to this, this early vehicle, but the trouble is, like, finding anything for these really old vehicles is near impossible, so we've just got to do the best we can with what we have, so. Better than, better than, better than making one. Yeah. That in there. There's enough noise coming out of this vehicle, we don't want to listen to anything else rattling around, so... Special feature on this, Kurt, I don't know if you can see it, but see the little cutouts there? Yeah. Allow it to go past the sight block. Oh, you're joking. Yeah. Just a little bit of detail. We didn't even notice it until we started, you know, playing around with these. So that's, so they've carved those little notches in there so it clears the sight. Yeah, clears the sight. Because these weapons can be taken out and used as ground mounts if needed by the crew. I believe that I believe that's what I used to do with them. Main one here locks across, clamps in. Then another one at the back. 
Here they've got a little cover to go across above the site block to protect it. As you can see, one's poking out further out the front, and I believe that's for the commander to give him more room inside. If the gun was back here, it would take up too much room. Very happy. Happy, Daryl? Yeah, very happy. I think Jess and I have done not a bad job. I, I, I agree. I think it's better than just not bad. But oh, Tony's in the background pointing at him going, and Tony helped out. <laughs> Tony yeah. helped out Tony as helped well. Out. Good on you, Tony. Hey, congratulations, Daz. It looks fantastic. No, thank you very much. This project took a lot longer than expected, and we are down to the wire to get this thing ready in time for Oz Armour Fest tomorrow. But as always, Daryl and Jesse have done impeccable work. There are a few small things we need to add, but she's battle ready, and I think you'll agree, she looks the business. If you've enjoyed this series, don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. And we'll reveal Daz and Jess's next project next week. But that's all I could smash out today. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and I'll see you on the next one.